also, you have great legs. And also, they're cutting to here, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'm really enjoying it. No, it's fine. I mean, as long as you don't see my underwear, it's yeah, fine. No, right, no, 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 she's good. <laughs> that's, good. that's the whole point. It's good, it's good. Hence, trousers. Yeah, and those are really nice, by the way. Thank oh, you. the shoes! I know. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, you, you know, you can try them later. <laughs> and the intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Rebecca Ferguson from Dr. Sleep. <laughs> How are you, Rebecca? I'm really well. Happy now. <laughs> this is good. Good. So, um, I, I read that you are not really into um, into scary movies. So, uh, what was the what made you say yes to this one? Um, because it read brilliantly off the page. Because I didn't want to change anything when I read it. Because. I had the best Skype meeting with Mike and Trevor, producer. Um, and I thought, I don't, I don't want to miss the opportunity of being in a room with these two men. Mm -hmm. I, I fell in love with their ideas. And I felt, I felt like I was talking to a brother. Uh, you know, it was, we were laughing so much. And also because Rose is so bloody cool. <laughs> well, she is, you know, it's just... <laughs> Yeah. Such a cool character. Yeah, that, you know, she's it's it's, ama it's amazing. Um, did you ever watch the the film? Or first, first of all, did you? What was your first impression when you watched the film back in the day of, of The Shining? What what was your reaction? I was very scared. I was young. I was probably too young, fourteen, fifteen years old. Uh, very, very tense because Kubrick has this incredible, um, subtle you know, his creation of, of just tension, you know, music, score, a rug, and wood, you know, it's just, it's so simple and just so un uncomfortable. Did you, did you have the chance to meet Stephen King? Or no. Would you, would you like to? I do, I do, and then as someone said, don't meet your sort of heroes and don't meet, oh. not that I'm going to be disappointed in Stephen King. Um, I've read so many of his books. I just want to be in his head. I'd probably make a fool out of myself. I'd ask too many questions. So did you read his books growing, growing up? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Any, no, any growing up, mm, when I got older, um, yes, I read, I read so many of them. And I just, I think, I can't pick a favorite because he has, I'm reading The Outsider now, which is bloody terrifying, um, but he has such, there's such musicality to his writing, to his description of environment, the conversation between two people describing the third. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, from, all, from all the scenes in the film, uh, which one do you think was the most challenging for you as an actress? For me, without a shadow of a doubt, the most challenging scene was when my character is quite brutal to a younger actor who is phenomenal. He was so good that he threw me off and I started crying um, when I was going to go in and, and do the scene. And I thought I was going to mess it up. Um, so I needed to kind of slap my face and wipe off the tears and then go in. Um, the realization of brilliant acting hit me um, mm -hmm. yeah um, in, the, in the film you have this this power this mm, shine or wh whatever you, you guys want to call it it's like kind of like within being in somebody's mind or being yeah. able to read somebody's mind if you could choose somebody like a character that you could read um, Stephen King <laughs> <laughs> Done. it would be really interesting yeah, yeah. have you read his books yeah, yeah, where yeah, yeah. is his head <laughs> I mean <laughs> Some of the things, Stephen, I just don't even know what to, where to start. <laughs> it, it must be so absurd and so brutally tiring and wonderful and exotic to be in his head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>